Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's Ninja U skill session. We are going to be reviewing the hot and warm list. My name is James W. Mitchell, and I'm a certified coach with Ninja Coaching, as well as a partner at the group real estate here in Fort Collins. Really excited to be sharing this information today. So let's get it right into it. Success habit number four of the Ninja Nine is focus on your hot list daily. Now, in order to focus on your hot list daily, we need to know what? What's a hot list? Okay. So a hot list. Let's dive into that. A hot list involves the people who want to buy and sell. The people that you that they and they know they want to buy and sell, and they want to buy and sell with you. Now, this isn't some Zillow lead, right? Or somebody that you just met maybe in a grocery store. But what these are, are the people that know you. Okay. And so they have been referred to you or they're in your database and they're really looking to you for their help. Also, with the hot list is that they want to buy and sell soon, about 90 days or less. That velocity is what makes the hot list a little different than the warm list, which we'll get into. Now, the two questions to look at uh, whenever you are going through your hot list daily are this. The first one is who is ready to write an offer? Who on my hot list is ready to write an offer? Or otherwise said, who can I write an offer for this week? Right? When you ask your brain that question, it's going to help you find the answers to that, which also means it's going to help you uncover all the opportunities that are right there in front of you. The second question to ask yourself as you're going through this hot list is what is their next step? So, these people on your hot list, what is it going to take to get them to under contract? What do they need? For example, they might need to figure out their down payment or get pre-qualified or determine if that family member will co-sign. They might need to determine whether or not that job is going to work out for that transfer, right? But what is their next step? As you're asking these two questions, what we really recommend you do at Ninja is that you meditate on each name on your hot list as you're going through it because what you focus on expands. So every name on your hot list, asking those two questions while you're sitting there and thinking about them, thinking about their situation and what you know about them, that's going to help you find the right answers to help them get to where they want to go on time. Success habit number five. Now, this is the focused on your warm list daily. Success habit number four and five are brother and sister as far as we're concerned here at Ninja. So how do we, what is a warm list? The warm list. These are people who want to buy and sell. They just may not know they want to buy and sell. Right? So, all right, James, how do you mean they don't know they want to buy or sell? Well, because life changes, things that happen and in, in to change their life are going to indicate a potential need for a transaction. These are these 16 life changes that are going to indicate that there might be a move, and we'll get into that here shortly. Now, the next thing is that since they don't, might not know they want to buy and sell, but you do, because you have these tools that are a bit predictive as to whether or not your database or the folks that you serve in your database are going to be wanting to buy or sell, you have the keys here with this list. In terms of timing, there's some time in the next year. So with the warm list, it's they want to buy and sell. They just may not know it, but you know it because you have these predictive tools that we're really excited to show you here in the next couple of slides. So what we've determined and what we've discovered at Ninja is that approximately 20% of your database is likely to make a real estate transaction over the next 12 months. Have any of you heard of artificial intelligence? Or has anybody ever gotten a phone call from somebody trying to sell you perhaps a zip code saying that we know who's going to be moving in that zip code, right? That's the predictive analytics. What we have at Ninja with our hot and really our warm list is your predictive analytics of your database to find that 20% who is likely to make that real estate transaction in the next 12 months. Following me? Awesome. So let's create a warm list. So uh, linked down under here, we've got the, the these people probably want to buy or sell worksheet. There's the 16 life changes that are going to predict one of those moves is likely. What we're really doing here is helping you create a move score through your database. So this move score is that 20% who should be on your warm list 
but how do we find them? Would it be helpful to you if we could help you find that 20% in your database that is likely to make a real estate transaction over the next 12 months? We thought so. So let's do the move scores next. You ready? The first thing that we want to do in this move score is go ahead and click that link below and get these 16 reasons that people are likely to move. These life changes. in tune with that heartbeat is really going to help your business grow the way that you want it to. This being the best predictor of health in your database, being the central nervous system, they pair together perfectly to help you maintain that health. Okay. So the flow is what's going to get people onto that warm in your hot list. So if your heartbeat's too low, let's look at the flow, right? If your heartbeat's too high, Right. Maybe we can look at some other, other different conversion ratios and things to make sure that we're understanding where the opportunities lie to help you really run a great business. So to recap, who goes on your hot list? Well, first, it's the people who are actively interested in buying or selling. It's the people that you know and that who know you. Right? It's the folks that are, are really looking to you for help that you can grow in relationship with, build trust. Those are the folks that go on your hot list. Now, open houses. If open houses are a part of your business, does everybody that comes in and says, I'm looking to buy a house, do they belong on your hot list or your warm list? Not necessarily. Just the ones that you make a connection with belong in your hot and warm list. Now, another question. Does everybody in your database belong on your hot and your warm list at one time? No, not everybody does. Only about 20%. However, does everybody on your hot and warm list belong in your database? Yes, absolutely. When you're out at a live flow event and somebody says, my mom might be moving to town or this life change might be happening. When you're out doing flow, asking forward questions and listening for change, those little Easter eggs are going to come up through the form of just people asking questions. Those opportunities are where you can now put them on your hot and warm list to make sure they don't slip through those cracks. And it keeps you focused. Now, we're, we're, we're talking about flow here, but not your auto flow. When you have people on your hot and warm list, what that can do is help you decide where to put your intentional flow who to do a real estate review for this week, who to add to your hour of power, who to send a thank you to, or maybe somebody who you just might want to invite out for a coffee or a lunch. That's where this hot and warm list can really start to add a lot of juice to your business by keeping you focused on where your best, uh, where your best clients are, the people that need you now. Now, has anybody here ever had a, a, a partner or a spouse that was just wondering what you did all day, making sure that you were going to work, right? So one of the things that's really helped me and my relationship uh, with my partner and wife, Angela, is the power of sharing. Shot list, to recap, who can I write an offer for this week? I would even encourage you to write that at the top of your hot and warm list every single time you print that out. Keep that right in front of you as what you focus on will expand. A couple other really great functions of your hot list and your warm list is that it can help you track your conversion ratios. Treating your business like a business. How many opportunities do I need to get one hot buyer? How many hot buyers or sellers do I need to create one under contract? And then so on and so forth to the closings. So following along with those conversion ratios can help you realize just how simple of a math problem your business truly is and can help you understand where you need to put your energy so you can run the business that you dream of. It's also going to help you keep track of that flow. So if your flow is working well, both auto and intentional, you're going to see the results in that warm list, in that hot list, all the way through to your closed transactions. We've got a couple of different options for you here at Ninja. 
We do have an electronic copy. The electronic in your warm list is that it can help you track your conversion ratios. Treating your business like a business. How many opportunities do I need to get one hot buyer? How many hot buyers or sellers do I need to create one under contract? And then so on and so forth to the closings. So following along with those conversion ratios can help you realize just how simple of a math problem your business truly is and can help you understand where you need to put your energy so you can run the business that you dream of. It's also going to help you keep track of that flow. So if your flow is working well, both auto and intentional, you're going to see the results in that warm list, in that hot list, all the way through to your closed transactions. We've got a couple of different options for you here at Ninja. We do have an electronic copy. The electronic copy is an Excel spreadsheet. Do I still have your attention? Anybody still there? Probably about 30% of you heard spreadsheet and go, yes. Each page has 10 names on it. One of the great opportunities for your business and learning about your business with this sheet is, is to say how many hot list prospects do you need in order to create one under contract? Now, this is a live example of one of my friends here at Ninja. Now, they uh, started, this was back in 2014. One of the, uh, the reason we show you this little line here is because I want you to see, part of this is to say, when did you start this sheet? Because we want to see how long it takes you to get those 10 names. The yellow highlight here is the one name that they got under contract off of these 10. So their conversion ratio for 10 names to get one under contract is what? 10%. Now, 10 names does not make a realtor's business. So let's also pay attention to the averages. It took them 13 days to do this one, about 13 days to do their next 10 hot prospects. Although in these next 10 out of 10, they got one and two under contract. So what that tells us is that out of 20 names, they've got three deals under contract. That means to say that this ninja has a conversion ratio for every seven hot prospects or seven hot opportunities. They have one under contract. What's really cool with this ninja is that this was before the ninja installation. After the installation, this ninja went from a one in seven to a one in four.